Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. This is Module 2, Setup and Installation. This video is titled, How to Upgrade WordPress. In the previous video, you've seen how it showed on the little dashboard there that there was an update available to WordPress. Whenever you see that happen, that means you need to upgrade your WordPress. This is a very simple process. Since right now you're just getting started, you're probably not going to see this, but if you do, you can go ahead and follow these steps. From now on, whenever you're working on your blog and you see this little button, all you have to do is just click this little click the little button and everything will be fine. So let's go ahead and talk about how to upgrade to the latest version of WordPress. This video example was done using MediaTemple.net's one-click service, and as such, the, the upgrade is actually also one-click. You don't have to type in any kind of information, which is pretty cool. But if you use it another type of server, which I'll also do this process on as well, you are going to have to input your information. We'll talk about that in the next slide. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you click, once you visit your dashboard, you're going to see this little button up here at the top that says WordPress 2.9.1 is available. Please update now. Each different version of WordPress is going to show up there. So what you want to do is click that little button that says please update now. Next, you're going to see something like this. It says upgrade automatically or download 2.9.1. So what you want to do is click upgrade automatically. However, if you are using a WordPress site, and this isn't just one you're just now creating, you're upgrading a site that's already up, you're going to want to back up your database. I have my own separate video on this, so check that out first. So let's go ahead and click the upgrade automatically button. Now, if you're using Media Temple's one-click install service, you're not going to see this screen. But if you're using another host and another service, you are going to see a screen like this. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss it briefly. But if you're using the one-click install, you're not even going to see this screen. You're just going to see the next screen. So what you want to do for host name is you want to type in your website domain name, the URL. Then you want to type in your FTP login and your FTP password. This is not your admin login for the WordPress. This is the, what you use to log into your FTP account. Then you want to make sure you have FTP selected and then click proceed. Once you do this, you're going to see something just like this. It's going to say it's downloaded the update, it's unpacked it, it's verified it, it's installed it, it's upgrading your database, and then it'll tell you WordPress upgraded successfully. Now again, if you went ahead and used Media Temple's one-click install or any other server with the one-click install, you're just going to go straight from upgrade automatically to this screen. Please note, whenever you do this, it's going to look like your web host just stalled, like nothing's happening. Don't panic, don't close the browser or freak out or click any buttons, just leave it alone and it should be through in about 5-10 seconds. I think this whole process took me maybe 5 seconds at most, but I'll go ahead and say 10 to be generous. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and seen how easy it is to upgrade and set up your WordPress website. The installation and upgrade upgrading takes just a few seconds. There's no reason not to be updated. So again, back up everything first, then upgrade your website, and then go ahead and check things out and make sure nothing's screwed up. Alright, I'll talk to you soon.